Let us move on to uh, one of the uh, later games here today, and that's going to involve, I believe, a number seven versus a number 10 here. A&M laying three against Penn State here tonight, right around 10 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, tip provided everything goes according uh, to plan. This is in the Midwest bracket for those of you uh, that are keeping track. Uh, total 135. Um, Teddy, some people think AM, not really a seven seed, but some people also think Penn State might be the most underrated team in this tournament. What do you say? So I'll be perfectly honest. I uh, I did fill out a bracket. I didn't pay any attention to it. He went, tch, tch, tch. <laughs> I don't know what seeds they are. I don't make bets based on what seeds they are. I make bets based on point spreads and my opinion about how the teams are going to match up against one another. And I have big concerns about Penn State here. All right. Penn State's last eight games have all been decided by four points or less or an overtime. Last weekend, they just played four games. In four days, every one of those games, down to the wire, nail biter, none of them decided by four, more than four points. There was an overtime game in there. I really worry. And I know Penn State's been a great dog in recent weeks. They've hung tough with everyone in recent weeks. I worry about them being gassed in this one. I do. And I understand that Texas A&M struggled uh, in the finale against Alabama over the weekend. But they only played three games in three days, and none of them were as tight, <laughs> you know. Their, uh, their closest game was less tight than the biggest blowout that the Penn State had all week. I think A&M's a better squad. They're favorite here for a reason. If I'm playing, I'm laying. Laying he is laying. Uh, it's been a live by the three, die by the three for Penn State here, Merrill. Um, what is your con- – I know you mentioned Big Ten. Woo, best conference, I think, is something you said along those lines there. Uh, so another Big Ten SEC matchup here. Uh, which one are you leaning to in this one? All right, so this time we don't play the Big Ten, Joe. So this is how it works. You got to zig when you zag. Um, yeah, Teddy and I talked about this game earlier on Wager Talk today. I recommend going back and watching the replay of the show. It's noon Eastern every day, of course. And um, I like AM in this game, minus the two and a half to minus three. And there's a couple reasons. First of all, I do think AM is the better team, first of all. And it's a basic straight up win situation. Um, Teddy and I talked about how Penn State has been keeping games close. They lost by just two to Purdue. But that's actually another reason I'm looking to fade Penn State. And this was probably the last game that was just a bit outside from making my best bet card. I had five strong best bets. Many are still available for Thursday for my clients. This one just missed the cut because I wish AM hadn't been taxed so hard in the SEC tournament. Um, you know, they played Alabama in the finals there, and they got all the way through three games, three days. But keep in mind, Penn State played four games in four days. It was even tougher for them. And Penn State was not in the tournament a week ago. In fact, um, if you look back on the 10th, six days earlier, I believe they were like third out, according to Lenardi. They were not even the first four in. They upset Northwestern. They pull a couple upsets after that. They have a near miss against Purdue. And now not only are they in, but they're a solid 10 seed. And this is where, you know, Teddy Say doesn't look at seeding, but I do look at seeding for that reason because they weren't even a first four in. They weren't even another 11 seed. They were a 10 seed. This is a team that wasn't in a week ago that's now a solid 10. So what that tells mm. me is that they've peaked. They can't be much higher, can't be much better. And I think that's a little bit in the point spread as well. I like AM in this one. And I think it's a bad spot looking to fade Penn State. All right. Looking to fade Penn State. Buzz Williams ready to roll. They've certainly been a cash cow, uh, Dwayne A&M team. I think 10-2 and two in their last uh, 12 against the number here. Uh, do they get another one here against Penn State? Well, given what you know about me, do you really think this is going to be an A&M sweep? <laughs> Good solid point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, solid we, point. Steve, Teddy, and I all <laughs> talked about this game uh, on Wager Talk today. I played this yesterday, gave it out yesterday. Uh, I'm on Penn State plus the three here. Uh, I love Micah Shrewsbury here. He's got his team into the big dance in just his second season. Uh, they mentioned the role that they went through going through the Big Ten tournament. Uh, they were a dog in all four games. I uh, had a chance to beat Purdue at the end, but couldn't get a shot off. Uh, I'm not a fan of moral victories, but that tournament should have given this team plenty of confidence heading into today. Um, on the other side, AM's Buzz Williams has his Aggies in the big dance for the first time in his four years there. Uh, they did get drilled by Alabama in the SEC tourney title game. Uh, got beat by 19 as a four-and-a-half-point dog. Uh 
I mean, every team is motivated right now. So, I mean, I don't really even factor in motivation at this point. I think the Penn State confidence will be big. Uh, this game qualifies in a situational angle that I mentioned. Uh, Single-digit SEC favorites coming into the tournament off a loss, like Texas A&M, are just 4-6 and six straight up, 2-8 and eight ATS over the last three tournaments. Uh, and going back to Penn State for a minute, uh, in Shrewsbury's two years there, uh, Penn State has been very good in neutral site games, 8-5 and five straight up, 12-1 and one ATS. Uh, on the other side, Buzz Williams Aggies were just 3-4 and four straight up in ATS uh, in neutral site games this season, despite the average line being A&M minus 4.3. Uh, and I mentioned Penn State's neutral site success. They were an average 2.8 point underdog. Um, you mentioned Penn State being a, a, an elite three point shooting team. Uh, Texas A&M is 352nd out of 363 teams in three point attempts per field goal attempt. Uh, and according to shot quality, they're 212th uh, in open three point rate. Uh, Penn State's defense did struggle this season against elite jump shooting teams, and they also struggled to force turnovers. But those are two areas you don't need to excel in uh, when you're playing Texas A&M. Um, I happen to like the fight in this Penn State team. I think they've got some confidence now off of that Big Ten tournament showing, and I think they can carry that over today. Um, I do like Penn State, and like I said, I did play them plus the three. Jalen Pickett could very well be the best player on the court here for Penn State uh, tonight. Uh, as he goes, they'll go. Should be a good one uh, with AM and Penn State here tonight. Again, 955, somewhere around in that ballpark, guys, out in the Midwest.